Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is going to be an episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. But before we get started, there's been something that's been going on for an entire week. Since last Wednesday, I asked you guys, who wants Code's mouse? Yes, that's right. My old mouse with my signature on it. It's been uh, the one year, and we'll actually say it was the, the 1,000 through 47,000 subscriber mouse um even though i took it off before the 47 that's okay this this is that's what this is going to be because i've surpassed 47 at this time blah, blah, blah. anyhow um what i've done is i've created a script you guys have come through here and just posted so many comments it was amazing uh, a lot of you i tried to get back to and said hey you put a space in code's mouse or you did this or that the other it had to be and it's too late now so don't try and correct it it had to be code's mouse it had to have a hashtag codes mouse no spaces all together uh, i did say capital c capital m but i actually created my own program my own script to go through and do this for me so i'm going to copy that now and we're going to hit f12 so right here i can see the console i don't need that bottom console we'll get rid of that so right here is my script, and to show you what the console is, alert, uh, test, test, like that. So I can I can do scripting on page. So I just triggered JavaScript to give me an alert box that says test. So here is my script. Boink. That's everything that's in there. Now this is not the drawing. Okay, I'm not drawing it yet. I'm just going to prove to show to you that this actually works. Um, let's jump up here to the very first comment and I will show you, ah, it's Percy, <laughs> Percy Pete. So, uh, hi, Code Primate, OMG, thank you so much. So I'm going to run this, go enter right there. It's going to ask me what search term are you looking for? I'm going to type in OMG, thank you, because I don't think anybody else has OMG, thank you. And, uh, this is where the lowercase uppercase lowercase doesn't really matter because I went OMG thank you we're just gonna hit okay boom Percy P it was the only comment that was found that had his name in it and everything else one entry found so the script does work it opens up a brand new thing it types out all commenters it pastes all their names in here and then it says here's what the search term was here's the total entries that I found and then it chooses a winner why does it say undefined? Oh, because it only has one, so it didn't have anything to randomize. Okay, so here we go. Close, close the untitled. And we are going to go... I'll, I could do it one more time if you wanted me to. All right, so let's go paste. Um, I'll run through the script to show you what it is. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you guys see this? Okay. Okay, this might be a little bit boring part, but it'll give you an idea of what's going on. So var all comments equals document dot get elements by class name comment dash renderer dash text dash content. That means any of these right here, the actual content, uh, those elements are all over the screen. So anything that has that class name, it grabs it and pulls it out into a huge list, a huge uh, collection. And then I do search term equals prompt enter a search term. So I'm asking the user or asking myself, hey, what are you going to look for? And then we're going to store whatever we type in in search term. Uh, I then create an array called found comments and I say for var x equals zero, do until x, uh, do while x is less than all comments, that collection of things up here, dot length, and then do X plus plus. This is just a, a for loop. I talked about for loops inside the uh, Roblox stuff. I know I'm really boring, but guess what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and stretch this out a little bit so you guys uh, you understand. Um, for loop, it goes through every single one of those comment boxes that it found, and it says, if all comments X, whichever one we're currently on, dot inner text is not equal to blank, and if all comments X dot inner text dot to lowercase, this is where the uppercase lowercase doesn't matter, dot search for, and then inside this I have search uh, search term dot to lowercase. So I lower it again, uh, the search term. So if you typed uppercase or lowercase, doesn't matter. Everything gets lowercased. Uh, if that is not equal to one, then 
found comments, my array dot push all comments, this comment. It takes that object. It says, hey, I just looked through uh, this comment and it has your search term in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that onto the stack of found comments for uh, selecting later. Now, this was the kind of tricky part because those comments don't have your name in it. So I, I had to find your name. That's where this comes in. I created another uh, var, I should have var in there, but that's fine. Names equals uh, empty array. That's what the two brackets are. Uh, I took out this alert because I wasn't using it. And I think I had another one. Yeah, the search term equals codes mouse. I took that out. Uh, for var x equals zero, do while x is less than found comments dot length and x plus plus. Same thing. Hey, take all the found comments and we're going to loop through those to get all the names. I'm not searching for a term anymore because I already found all my terms. So it says this name equals found comment x dot parent element dot parent element dot first element child dot first element child dot inner text. So it says, wherever this was located, I want you to go up to its parent, which is the comment box or something like that. Go up to that parent, which is the comment holder. Go down to the first child, which is the comment author. Go into the first child, which is the comment author name. Whew, I hope I didn't confuse it. That It's all inside the HTML code. You can right click, inspect element, that's where it's at. So it goes through all of the ones that we found and it says, hey, grab those names and push that name. Uh, if the name, Names of index, okay. If names dot index of this name is equal to negative one, which means, hey, look back through our current names and see if this person's already in there. If they are, skip it. If they're not, go ahead and push them into these names. So if you entered like 20 codes mouse, hashtag codes mouse, doesn't matter. I'm choosing one, one of your codes mouse, put you on the stack. And now you're available for um, uh, selection. This also um, makes it extremely fair because if you if you did a whole bunch, like say I did hashtag codes mouse codes mouse codes mouse codes mouse, and I did like 20 comments, that means I'd get 20 entries. Well, that is taken care of right here. Boom. By the way, this is excellent JavaScripting. Perfect. It's never gone wrong before. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I debug this stuff all the time. So uh, now I do new window equals window dot open blank. Basically, I want to open up a new window, which you saw a second ago. Var winner equals names uh, math dot floor math dot random times names dot length minus one. So however long the names are, like say I've got 20 names, put it down to 19 because I'm going to need zero through 19 for my array. Remember what I was saying the other day on Roblox, how like, Arrays start at zero. Same thing happens in JavaScript. And I checked on this one. It starts at zero. So array zero is the first element. Did that right here. So what the winner does, it chooses a random times the length, goes through there, boom, picks one. So that's now stored in winner. Uh, new window is my variable. So I say new window document dot write. Uh, all commenters, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and this is the HTML text that actually appears on the second page that opens up. And then it takes and it puts in uh, what our search term was and it goes through and drops in uh, right here. Let's see, text area column 200 rows one or rows 10. And then it sets the name to txt.names. And we go back through here, txt.names uh, equals new window dot document dot get elements by uh, get element by ID text names. So after we wrote it, we're going to search for it real quick. Boom. We've got it. Uh, the type equals text. And then we do uh, names dot value equals the names. So really, really quick. What it does, it creates a blank page. It draws it out and then it goes and grabs uh, the first element that that text box. And it says, Hey, I'm going to take all these names. I'm going to drop it in there. And then I'm just going to write the rest of the stuff to the, uh, the document. So that's what all this does. Oh, I also do a copy of the, uh, of the new windows document execute copy. So if you need a list of all those names, it will select that text box that pops up and copy it to the clipboard. Now I think on Internet Explorer, you're gonna to have to allow this because that action is is restricted. 
but on Chrome, it should just work. So whew, that was a lot. Are you, are you guys anticipating now? Are you ready? Because I'm excited. I'm, I'm ready to fire this off. Let's do this. This is going to be 2017. It's July 5th. No, it's July, it's July 5th to you guys. July 4th to uh, the current time zone I'm in. Happy July 4th. Like, Independence Day. America. <laughs> uh, awesome. We had fireworks and barbecues, and it was it was amazing day. It was just awesome. Here we go. And enter. Please enter the search term. Hashtag codes mouse for the winner a -bam. the winner is hard gamer out of 162 entries codes mouse hard gamer you are the winner of codes mouse so i will contact you i will pin your uh your comment to the top and right inside the the comment on that video that you are the winner also same thing in this one i'm going to post at the very top hard gamer is the winner of the codes mouse challenge um what you'll do is you'll respond to me with your skype name or you'll come into discord and you'll contact me i'll verify that it is you and then uh, i will get your mailing address and i will ship you my mouse amazing that was awesome Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and get into some uh, some lumber tycoon too. I know I know that took a little while. I I apologize, but whoa, hold on, hold on. What am I doing here? Uh, window capture. There we go. And let's go ahead and fade that out. Congratulations to Hard Gamer. That is awesome. Fade lumber tycoon. Here we go. Let's do this. Uh, oh, by the way, I am going to continue on with the, um, oh gosh, did that actually show up or not? Oh no, it's not showing up. Why is it not showing up? Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. I was worried there for a second. I'm like, my thing's not showing up. Oh, it's a new server. Nice. Hello, everyone. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, my keyboard's still in pretty good shape, so I'm not going to give that away quite yet. Uh, I might come up with something in a couple of days, but uh, I've got extra hard drives laying around, like three terabyte hard drives that are just sitting here. Um, I could probably like format those, wipe and reload all the content that's on there, write zeros to the hard drive, and then give those away. But I mean, literally, you guys would have to you would have to know what to do with them, like literally their hard drives do you guys even have places for these things i don't know it's a thought it it's a it's a process why are we loading why is it taking so long hello blue elo just followed me right in there that is awesome so the video that released today uh the two videos that released today the first one was the um bridge how to do the bridge to um palmwood i'm going to be working on that as well uh that's going to be this video and what was the other one? The other one was Trolliverse, where I got to troll. That was that was awesome. If you guys have not checked out the uh, Creativeverse Trolliverse series, you need to go check those out. Those are amazing. Um, but yeah, I've the other video that should be releasing today um, was sent to me by the creator of it. It was uh, game development. Game game. De I'll, I'll have to look it up. But I'll get all that information. I'll make another video. It's going to be awesome. Oh, people are freaking out. Oh my gosh. Hello, Tony Stark. One, two, three, four, five. Tony Stark. Neon Attack Zero One. Hi. Um, let's see. How far along are we? We're already 15 minutes into it. So technically, you're only getting a 15 minute video of, I love your videos. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yoi. Thank you, Yoi. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, gosh. It didn't, it didn't say anything. Did I get disconnected? I said, oh, there it went. Okay. It's just really slow. Why is it being slow? Is it a broken server? No, it's moving. So, we're moving. Mmm. Coffee is so good. It's so great to calm the nerves and to make you relax. Because that's what coffee is supposed to do, right? 
Just kidding. Coffee is a stimulant and it'll make your brain go. Mm. All right. Come on, Lumber Tycoon. Come on, Lumber Tycoon. What is that over there? People are talking. Uh, code. Oh my gosh, code. Code. I sign you. I sign my base. I you might. I you sign my base. Can you sign my base? Maybe. Are you going to? Uh, are you gonna be recording? I am recording now. Just did my mouth a giveaway. <laughs> Yay! Hi YouTube. <laughs> for tomorrow's video? Yes. For tomorrow's video. All right, let's go. Load. Slot one. Load. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yay, there's people. <laughs> nice. Hang on, oh my gosh, hang on. <laughs> there's tons of people. Wait, wait, they're twins. They're twins, look at... Oh, no, they're not twins. They got the same wings, though. Are those the same wings? Those are the same wings. Nice. Uh, I'm a sh uh, I'm gonna shout code. Okay, my mom might get mad at me. <laughs> don't don't make your mom mad, dude. Lou Elo, he's got the fan shirt on. He's rocking it out. Wait, who's this? Hit back, girl. I think I've seen you before. Whoa, this way, this way, this way. Working it. And we want this slot. Selected. Confirmed. Yay. Woo. Let's go this way. I saw on blank blank you were on so I joined. Oh, I got tagged. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, huge, huge um, shout out to the big cat. Because... Uh, I didn't realize that they knew me in, like, they, they know me in real life. And when they saw me, they're like, oh my gosh, I love your videos, everything else. So that was awesome. I don't, I don't know if I should shout them out or not. I, I, will, I will ask if they want to be shouted out because that is awesome. By the way, I figured out the, the way of the, the doors. So check this out. It doesn't matter when, like where you're clicked. It depends on what side of the door you're on. So if I'm on this side and I click, it goes down towards me, right? But if I'm on this side of the door and I click, it goes the opposite direction. What? Crazy. So I think I found a way to detect where you're at at any given time. Um, actually, do I want to do that? I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, don't, I don't know if I want to do that. All right, let's go this way. What happens if I'm like right in the middle, like indistinguishably be, between? Uh, I can't. I can't. I can't do it just exactly in the middle. Okay, cool. Please, please, yes, selfie, selfie. Jeez. Oh, I got an Alfax. Oh, that's the the gift from last time. That's awesome. Let's put this here. Let's put that there. There we go. Ooh. How do I take a screenshot? Hit the print screen button. Print screen. By the way, if you don't know on um, PCs, it's at the top right hand side of your keyboard. It says either P N T S C R or it says print screen. You just click that and Boom. I'm just going to use Snipping Tool. You can use Snipping Tool as well. Uh, if you don't have any of those, you can bust out your phone and take a picture. Uh, if you're on Mac, I don't know what the command key is. So, sorry, Mac users. I'm going to use this. Uh, oh, I'm going to use the uh, cheese. Wait. Okay, I'm, I'm not moving. Are you good? You good? Cheese. Cheese. Do you, do you have it? Dude. I'm recording here. I need to know. Done. Okay, cool. All right, there we go. So I need to open this door. And to do this, I'm going to stand on this side. Hit E. And I'm going to move this one. Move. B. Sit that one back down. Now I should be able to move this door into place. 
Woo! Wink! Like that. Oh, I need to do uh, rotate like that. No, nope. rotate, rotate. And boom, like that. So it's just one unit away. So if I hit E on that, that should close. Good. Uh, now I'm going to move, hit B to put it back. Hit uh, this one, move and B to put it back. I think that's all I, I'm gonna need. Hit move, B, and open. Yeah, look at that, that is amazing. Oh, I'm just so proud of these doors. This is, this is awesome. I promise I won't get in your way. I want to build, I don't, I don't want to build anymore. I'm just gonna chill here. Okay, that's fine. You can just chill, dude. I got no problem with that. Uh, let's go ahead and move these over to here. Get these all set up and ready. Move this one over to here. Come on, get on over there. There we go. Uh, I can I can go ahead and set this one. 36, 94, 62, hut, hut. Sounds like I'm calling out uh, football stuff. There we go. There we go, move. And then right here, done. Okay, I'm going to need more ladders. Definitely more ladders. So, let's go ahead and go to two. Um, do, 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 what are, ladders are the very bottom ladders. So, if we just do this, like at the very end of the conveyor, they should build as I, uh, as I place stuff in here, right? Two, three. Come on, come on. Four. Five, six. That's that's good. That'll be fine. Boink, boink. Oh, so close, so close. Boink. I've got a lot of wood in here already, don't I? Some stuff glitched out from last time. Nice. All right. So let's move this. Uh, we're gonna have to stick these on top of this one. Come on, come on, get on there. I don't care if you're like a little crooked. You can you can be a little crooked. That's fine. There's one. Move. Oh gosh, that's like really tall. All right. Um, what I need to set it down E to place. There we go. Move. And E to place. I'm going to need a platform up here somewhere. And move. E. Oh, maybe not. I can I can keep going for a little bit. Ah, they're so hard to control. Oh, gosh. Can't put it right next to the door handle. So. Oh, I did it. Sweet. That works. Oh, I think there was lag, dude. Oh no, neon attack, I can't touch it. I'm not whitelisted, no. And, oh, did that, did that go? Come on. Oh man. E to play, oh no, it's off a little bit. That's fine, that's okay. We can, we can do this. What is up with? Okay, that's because that door's moved. Move. We're gonna go up. Up, 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 Boink. All right, please don't move me, dude. We'll set this one over here for the moment. We're gonna hit, uh, oh, we're gonna hit open on this door. Oh, gosh, okay. Gotta hit open on this door. And then we have to move this door. Move and hit B. And we're gonna go move. And this one's gotta go right in. Dude, I can't do it when you're standing right there. Oh gosh, I can't do it whenever I'm standing there either. All right, dude, you gotta, you have to get down. You have to get down. 
you are standing where I'm building. You are standing where I'm building, and it's very, very demanding. Build our bridge from these doors, and we'll get there like before. Oh gosh, there we go, done. Now can I just, yeah, let's just do this. I'll just open that back up. Move. Woo. Heading back up, heading back up, heading back up to the top. Oh, 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 right there or right there? Right there, right there, sweet. Open that up. Yay, we're doing great. Now I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach this last one. I might have ran out of room. No, I got it. Nice. <laughs> nice. Close. Close. Oh, I can't get it. Close. Oh, darn it. Uh, okay, this is not going to work because I need to move and replace those top ones. But I can't tell which ones need to be. Okay. One, two, three, four. So there's four. I need to move the f fourth one. Move and hit B. Move and hit B. Move. B. B. There we go. Move. B. And last one. Last one. Come on. Move. Oh, no, no. I need that last one. Up here. Move. No. B. Please. Move. There it goes. B. Now we can move the last one. B and boom. <laughs> We're almost off the base. We are almost off the base. Look at that. That is awesome. I wonder if I could have just gone to the edge of the base. I don't know. But that is incredible. <laughs> oh man. Okay, let's drop this on the opposite side. Good. All right. Um, let's hit two. Let's hit two. Sorry, I've got uh, be our guest stuck in my head for some reason. It's crazy, crazy. I tell you. Maybe I should make more doors instead of ladders. That's okay. A ladder up that high is going to be awesome as well. And hit B. Move. Oh, 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 come on. Get over there. Wait, is that... Yeah, that's where I wanted it. And we'll grab this one. Move. Oh, what time is it? What time? Okay, we still have like two minutes left. Maybe one. One minute, maybe. Possibly. A couple seconds. We're getting there. Oh, gosh. Do, 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 do. Boom. There we go. So, these are all going into blueprints now. Nice, nice, nice. Make sure... Okay. I haven't even looked to see if anybody's scamming me. Anybody moving things around or doing things they're not supposed to? I don't see. Hmm. Code, could you like quickly so I can teleport to my base? Uh, blacklist you? Code blank blank me. I think he's saying blacklist. Yep, that's what he wants. Okay, so neon menu blacklist neon. Boink. Off you go, dude. 
Um, okay. There you go. Boink. And you're welcome. It's so cool. Who's this? Hey, um, hit back girl. I can't. Your stuff. Oh no. Hello. And <laughs> Dr. Crafty Beans. You were the one that's like, hey, remember me? I do. I do remember you. All right. I think that's going to do it for this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. Uh, well, uh, maybe. Okay. Let's get up here. So the vertical doors are working. They're working quite well. And I suspect that it will not cost $720,000 to create. In fact, I think it's only going to cost me 720 because I mean, I bought the door. Well, I guess it'd be 14, 1440, 1420 because I bought the two doors. No, 1440 because it's $720 for the, I don't know. I'm, I'm horrible at math. I'm just kidding. I'm actually really good at math, but I'm not calculating it right now. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, you don't have to subscribe unless you really want to. If you think my content is like amazing, then yes, please go subscribe. But if you're just like, eh, it's kind of good. And then, then, I mean, it's up to you. Like you can, I would, wouldn't mind it if you want to go subscribe. If you'd like a t-shirt like this one, except it doesn't like, it's green right here and it, you can see through it because it's green screen. But if you'd like some merchandise, uh, I have coffee cups and mouse pads and t-shirts and uh, I've got kid sizes, I've got adult sizes and what else do I have down there? A hoodie, an amazing hoodie. Um, thank you guys for watching. I love you very much. Uh, Hard Gamer, congrats one last time for winning the Code Mouse. And I will get a hold of you. If I don't get a hold of you, say 72 hours, three days from the time that this video posts, then I will um, I will choose somebody else. And I'll make a video announcing that you did not contact me and that I need to get somebody else. But if you contact me, if I get a hold of you, then you absolutely won my mouse. Yay! <laughs> Love you guys very much. Here's your outro. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.